Hey guys, how's it going? Shez back again with another episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1, or into episode number 19. And the first team that we have suggested by you guys today is Borussia Mooch and Gladback. The suggestion comes in from Jovelin HD, Toxic Flash, Charlie Payne, Donut HD, Cronkless, and of course, Murder on Zidane's floor. So, uh, <laughs> that username, man. But uh, anyway, you'll be able to tell from the uh, the title of the video what the main gist of, uh, of this particular episode is, or the main topic. But uh, we're going to wait until after this first game before we get into that, because it was an absolute cracker. You see, we got off to a poor start, though, going 1-0 down early on through Douglas Costa, but we're going to bounce back. We're going to try and get ourselves back into the game if we possibly can, and Younes gets us off to a fantastic rebound start just a few minutes after we've gone 1-0 down. We're back at 1-1 and on level terms just before 15 minutes has passed, and uh, we're going to get another chance here. Nordvite's going to find Mlapa inside the box after a lovely twisty turny run. Mlapa's first touch isn't the best, but the most ridiculous of, uh, of triple rebounds finds its way back to his face and he's able to head it into the back of the net for a really, really easy and aidsy finish into uh, into the back of the net with his head. It's really, really unfortunate for him. You see it bounces up, th triple deflection off a lap, off one defender, off another defender, and then it's just a simple headed finish. We could try and extend the lead if we possibly could here. Um, Lapa tries to uh, to play a lovely ball over the top to Younes. Takes it in his stride absolutely perfectly. Catches a goalkeeper in no man's land. And it's just the simple job of lofting it over the top. So it's Younes' second and we uh, we get a two-goal lead. Just before half-time, Wellington Nem's going to pick up the ball with his back to the defensive line. But does find Bernard with a lovely ball over the top. It's a good save from Tushtigen but can't push it to safety. And unfortunately, uh, Tyson is on hand to, uh, to rifle it into the back of the net. So just before half-time, we have our lead cut back to one. It's 3-2. Just after the break, Mlapa gets played through again. And again, a little bit fortunate for him there that uh, the defender just mistimes the tackle, was able to run through it, brushes him aside, and we extend our lead back up to two goals to make it 4-2 just a few minutes after the uh, the initial break and restart for the second half. But it's a lovely ball over the top to uh, to Bernard here just a couple of minutes after we'd gone there uh, 4-2 up. De Steigen decides that uh, he's just going to flop to the floor rather than make any real significant attempt to save it, and uh, he brings it back to 4-3. And then just about 10 to 12 minutes later, he's going to play another through. Well, this time it's Wellington Nem looking for Fred. And again, the pace is the difference in behind the defence. De Steigen can't get out quick enough to uh, to get to the ball to block it. Goes underneath him and he pulls it back to 4-4. And that is how the game is going to end. So an eight-goal thriller that unfortunately, even after going uh, in front by two goals twice, after falling behind, we weren't able to get a victory out of it. We only take a point. Now, uh, the other two teams that were suggested were Legion Warsaw and Hartlepool and much like with India I tried and tried and tried again to get a game with either of those two sides and just could not. I don't know what it is right now but the division we're in we cannot seem to get games with teams under three and a half to four stars so uh, I was kind of annoyed about that so I went into this one with Barcelona which was uh, suggested by a couple of people in the comments whose, whose names escape me now I do apologise but uh, in this one of course playing as a five star team we come up against Real Madrid yet again no surprises there but the main topic of this video now uh, of course you guys have been showing this this series support throughout its entirety so far but uh, over recent weeks the uh, the amount of suggestions that I get the likes the views etc they've all been tailing off and it's been becoming increasingly frustrating to watch as uh, I put a lot of effort into making this series and uh, a lot of time goes into it etc and uh, it's just not it's not coming into uh, to fruition and uh, the views on it have gone from you know a steady 600 per episode to like 300 to 350 an episode and uh, on a channel of my size it's just not really viable to continue long term with a series like that that just isn't helping the channel grow in the slightest i was getting views view figures of you know of 3 to 3 to 350 when i was half the size i am now and uh, it's just not helping the channel grow and whilst you know, I like to bring you videos that you enjoy. Uh, not as many of you are enjoying this series. And also I have to consider, you know, the growth of the channel overall. Whilst trying to put out quality content that you guys will enjoy watching, I have to, you know, take into account the fact that I still want the uh, the channel to grow. I want more new people to come in to join you guys that are already here. And uh, this series isn't doing that. So this is going to be the last episode of the Interactive Road to Division 1. It is coming to a premature end. I do apologise to those of you that have enjoyed this series throughout its entire so far but unfortunately division four is as far as we're going to go with this one i am going to stop it uh, i'm going to monitor how this weekend goes with regards to the home from home series the first episode did particularly well almost 100 likes almost a thousand views and
and then again second and third episodes are on like 400 and 250 so I'm thinking about maybe just sacking Ultimate Team off completely and uh, maybe doing another career mode series whether it be with a smaller team or maybe even a my player type series where we take a virtual pro uh, through an entire you know singular career with one player as opposed to uh, an entire an entire team that will be decided at a later date i might do a pilot episode of that for this weekend uh, i haven't yet decided or put anything in uh, in motion to do that uh, but of course the, the home from home i'll monitor it, monitor it again this weekend but if it does ridiculously poorly again this weekend then i will sack that off as well and uh, we will basically become a career mode only channel for the time being until at least fifa 15 and maybe for fifa 15 i'll give ultimate team another shot with uh, you know like a a creating chelsea type thing where we kind of revolve ultimate team around chelsea a full on road to glory we try and build a chelsea team but that won't be until uh, like i say fifa 15 so that's going to bring this episode and this series to a close guys i do apologize for uh, those of you that do thoroughly enjoy it uh, I, I did enjoy making it but it's it's just not viable with uh, the situation with the channel at the minute so i have to apologize again but uh, that is life unfortunately so uh, we'll be coming back with a pilot of a my player this weekend we'll have to see how that goes and uh, we'll go with our home from home the zola home from home again and see how that does as well. But that's all for today. There was a career mode episode earlier on today. So feel free to check that out on the channel page. But uh, that's all from me today guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you next time.